Welcome to Film Scene, the show that takes you behind the scenes of our shoots at Creative Edge Productions. I'm your host, Tony Reale, Director of Photography, joined as always by our intrepid crew, Jimmy DeGroat, Creative Director, and Sean Bowers, Director of Post-Production. We're back for some more interview setups. As you've seen in previous episodes, we're actually creating an entire campaign video for a local church. And for this video, we wanted to match some of the previous designs that we had set up. We're shooting at a different location, which means new lighting setups and new challenges. But we're going to keep with the same style that we've established, which is a nice soft light and a nice dolly move to add some parallaxing effect. We're at a great location, which has some gorgeous windows coming in, which provide a very interesting color temperature to work with. But we're keeping with our traditional tungsten light setup and our traditional FS700 with our 24-70 f2.8 lens. We bring it over to our Kessler Crane dolly system, which is set up on some 8-foot PVC pipe. This makes it easy to transport from location to location and fast to set up. To key our subject, we're using our RE1K lights, and for a backlight, we're adding our RE650. I ended up adding a second 1K because we were going to have two subjects in camera at the same time, and I wanted them that both have correct exposure. Make sure you have sandbags to keep all your light stands stable. I used my small HD DP4 as a great external monitor and was able to get it closer to my face when standing for doing the dolly move. The result is a great soft light and a great move with these gorgeous windows behind them. By using those two 1Ks, we we're also able to get proper exposure and not blow out the back window. We decided to shoot some B-roll of the couple walking in to intercut with them during their interview. I found one great angle that I was really excited to shoot with. I wanted the beautiful windows in the background to be in the shot behind the couple as they were walking up, which meant that I needed to get the camera much lower than I could get at the minimum level of the K-Pod. I did remember watching on Kessler's site the ability to use the seat as a ball relocator. This came incredibly handy for the shot that I wanted to create. And thanks to their web videos, I was easily able to remember exactly how to set it up and we were off and running in no time. We removed the seat cushion and attached it directly to the lower portion of the K-Pod. Once it was attached, we simply added the ball relocator from our pocket jib. We attached it nice and tight and we were able to relocate our Liebeck head to a much lower position than before and get the exact shot I was looking for. Starting off with a 24mm, I decided that wasn't wide enough, so we switched to our Tokina 11-16. We shot at 60 frames per second, which gave it a nice magical slow motion look, and we keyed it with a 650 watt RE light camera right. The day wasn't done though. We had to travel to another location to get one more interview shot. When we got there, we found a perfect spot, but unfortunately we had some can lights that were shining right down on top of the subject. This was no issue though, because we just simply flew in a flag with a C-stand and positioned it right over the top of the subject and blocked out the can light. This allowed us to control that can light and get the light exactly the way we wanted it without having to compromise the location of our shot. To key the subject, we used our same bounce out flex fill 5x7 foot using a 1K light and then we added a kicker light on camera right, a 200 watt Brytec. Similar setup as before with the camera on the dolly and we were able to get a great consistent look across the board with all of our videos. We shot our basic B-roll in 60 frames per second and we shot our standard interviews at traditional 24 frames per second. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Feel free to subscribe for future episodes of Film Scene and check out all of our work, including this video, at creativeitchproductions.com.